Hello, my name is Hellbent and welcome to the fourth part for tutorial number three in the AutoHotKey GUI tutorial. In this one we're doing edit and more specifically we are going to be adding in rows. Okay, so I don't do very well when I have to type and talk at the same time. So I'm just going to go ahead and set myself up with some of the things that I always add into my scripts. If you've been watching a few of these tutorials by now, you know that I do this every time. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create our GUI. And I'm doing it this way because you might be coming for this tutorial and only this tutorial. So that's why I'm doing it from scratch this way every time. Okay, GUI show, I want a width of 500, a height of 500, and a title of edit tutorial. I'll add in a return. And then I will add in a label, so that way when I press the close button, it'll actually exit the app. Okay. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> now let's add in our edit field. And there we go. Okay, so we've just created our template and we've added an edit. So if we look at it, there we go. We can type in blah, 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 whatever. Now, what if we want to be specific rows? Now, we have a couple of op two options really here. What we can do is we can either in its options, we can add a width or actually I guess it's height. So we can add a height of blah, blah, blah. So let's go with 45. All right. And we can add it in. And if we look, we can get... Actually, that worked out pretty good. That looks pretty close. Um, now, the, what we're going to do is we're going to change this from being a specific height like this to actual rows. So each of these lines here takes up a certain amount of space. And what we don't want to... When we make this... If, if we're making trying to make this look nice... What we don't want is like barely any white space above this line here, but then a lot of white space below this line here, right? Um, so, for example, if we change this to 60, oh, no, don't want that, 65. And if we were to now just do the same three rows, what we end up with is, is a ton of white space at the bottom. And if we know that we're only going to be using three rows like this, we can either play around with this over and over again, adjusting this until we get it right. Or what we can do is actually specify that that's how high we want it to be. So we can change this to row, R for row, and then the number of rows that we want. So from our example, we had three. So we just type in R3, save it, run it, and now we have three perfectly spaced rows. Now, another good thing about this is if what we can also do is if we change the font, um, I hope I don't get called a liar after this one because I haven't actually tried this. If we change the size to 22 and its normal default is 8, so if we change it to 22, because we've specified in rows how how high the height of our um, edit field, it's automatically going to compensate to make it so that way each of those rows can accommodate our size of 22. And there we go. So if we look, we still have perfect size for three rows. Okay, and we can we can still type more things and go endless but the height of our g our edit field is going to be exactly three rows 
So that's it for this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one and the next one we're going to look at adding a slider, a horizontal slider, not just the vertical one. And I will see you there.